Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a sticker book DIY tutorial type thing. Uh, first of all, excuse my hands, they have junk and stuff all over them. They're like discolored and gross, but um, <laughs> that is because I was just working on a future video and it's going to be quite different than anything else I've put on this channel, but I'm excited about it. Anyway, uh, for this video, um, I decided to make this because I was watching um, a video on uh, Andrea's channel, uh, the owner of Scribble Prints Co., and she did a video um, showing a like sticker collector book lit thing that she got off of Am Amazon um, to put all of her like uh, random stickers from like samplers and freebies and stuff um, so that she could still utilize them and they weren't like all over the place and I was like oh that's such a great idea so I went and I found it on Amazon and I was like well I mean it's not it's not like it's expensive or anything it's 10 bucks but I mean for what it is it's super easy to make I figured so what I did was I was, when I was looking at the video um, I was like, that paper looks a lot like parchment paper, and I'm pretty sure in the video she actually said that it felt like parchment paper too. So what I did, because I was like, mm, before I buy it, let me see if there's a way that I can make myself one, because why buy it if I can DIY it, you know? Okay, so I took a piece of parchment paper and I stuck, I just stuck a couple stickers on here, and I put, um some different textures to see how they um, fare on the paper. This one is uh, glossy, and there's a matte sticker, another glossy sticker, and a premium matte sticker. So the glossy ones come up, like, and it's such a satisfying noise that they make. Like, can you hear that? Uh, so the glossies come up just fine, and these have been sitting on this paper for um, maybe like a week or so. The matte comes up just fine, premium matte comes up just fine, like, and it feels a lot sturdier than if you were to put it <clears throat> on, like, the backing of sticker paper. It just, it sticks a lot better. Um, so I figured if this works and then these come up, I'll just make my own. So that is what we're going to be doing today. So the supplies that you're going to need are <clears throat> uh, parchment paper, and this is the one I used. You can use any kind of parchment paper, I'm sure. Um... I feel like I got this at the Dollar Tree. I might not have, but I feel like I did. Uh, so it doesn't even actually have a brand on it, which is why I think that it just says parchment paper. I mean, any kind is fine. And then uh, you're going to need some kind of cover. Um, and I had this lying around, so I figured I would use it. I would have made the book smaller, which probably would have been more convenient, but this is actually about this it's only slightly like a half an inch taller than the binders I use for my stickers so if I put it right here it'll be about the same height so I figured it wasn't a big deal I have this happy planner cover right here that I'm going to be using and this the whole can't with the flamingos and I think I'm going to keep that on the outside but I kind of like really like the flamingos so I don't know uh anyway this is what I'm going to be using for my cover and then um since I had them I figured I would use them. I have these um, Happy Planner dividers, which I bought the pack of them because, like, a long time ago, because I just thought they were so gorgeous. I didn't actually have any, like, use in mind for them, but I was like, I want them, so I bought them. <laughs> and I'm finally finding use for them, and I'm going to use these to um, create, like, sections. I mean, that's what they're for. So, and then you're going to need, if you're doing it this way, you're going to need um, discs or a binding system. Um, you, I mean, to be perfectly honest, you could take, like, you could take parchment paper, cut it down to whatever size you want, then take some, like, cute scrap of paper or cardstock and just, like, staple it. It could be that simple. Um... I'm doing this because I already have the supplies, but honestly, you can bind it any way you want. You can be super quick and easy and simple and staple it together, or you can use a cinch machine, or you can use this. Um, 
whatever binding system works for you. Uh, so you could actually use a three ring binder too and punch holes in them. Sky's the limits, you guys. So I've got my discs, I've got my covers, and I've already cut down my parchment paper um, and punched it. I cut it down so that it would be the same size as the dividers. So it is seven inches um, wide by nine and a quarter inches tall. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pop my discs on here. And um, I'm going to be using this sticker book for all of the samplers that I have and the like um, like random icons and stuff that I cut off of my, um, like I have this whole, this is like only half of it, um, like random icons that I have from kits and stuff, and I'll be popping those in here, and then, uh, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to take any, like, samplers that I have, because I did update my sticker collection, um, before I made a video on um, changing my like the way I organize my sticker collection and I changed it from having it organized by activity to having it organized by shop that ended up just not working for me um, because I don't have enough of a variety well that came out weird enough of, of a variety of activities from each shop that I have stickers from for it to make it like make sense to do it that way so I switched it back to um, categorizing it all by activity, except I did not put it back in the accordion folders. Um, the accordion folders honestly were just really annoying to go through constantly because the lids would like flap over and you have to hold the lids open while you're looking through it. It was annoying, like it's the little things that get on your nerves, you know? So I actually um, organized them into the same type of binder system as I have for all of my kits and I just put tabs on everything. Um, and everything is in uh, different like activity categories uh, so I have everything organized like that I've got that one binder that's stuffed and then I've got another one that's got a few things in it so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop my dividers in here um, because the parchment paper is pretty flimsy let me put these in order because it's gonna bother me um, parchment paper is pretty flimsy so I want to put the uh, more structured items in first. So that the discs won't flop around as much when I'm putting the parchment paper in. So. It was probably, probably would have been easier to put these in, like, a couple at a time, but apparently I'm feeling impatient. So, there we go. All of the dividers are in, and these have, um, why does it feel like there's, oh, that's why. I was like, why does it feel like there's more than that? There's two with the same, with the tabs in the same place, that's why. That's not going to work. Oh, there's two like that too. Oh, yeah, okay, that's weird. Uh, let's see. That one, that one. Ooh, these are double-sided. I don't even know. That one. That one. And then these can go back here. It's kind of weird. I'm not sure what categories I'm going to do yet, but I will do some kind of category. I don't like that. I don't like that those are like, I don't know. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just put a little bit of parchment paper in each category. And I'm hoping that these, the papers are so, so thin. I'm hoping that they stay in here well. And once I have it closed for a while, the pages will start to flatten out, but for now, they're going to be curled for a while, I'm sure. Okay. 
I'm not going to go ahead and count them. I'm just going to throw them in for now. And then I can always move things around, which is great about this binding system. Oop. So, just throwing these in. Oop. And some of them... I think it's because I was putting like multiple sheets in at once, like into the punch at once, that they kind of punched a little uneven. Not anything like drastic, but it did make some of the pages a little bit longer than others. I don't know if you can tell, but some of the parchment paper is hanging over a little bit. Woo. Oh, these ones were cut like real janky. What did I do? Well, hopefully it still sticks in here decently. That's still going to stay. Now, if I really, really feel like I need to, um, also, I think that in that sticker book, the pages are similar texture, but they looked uh, quite a bit thicker. Um, if I need to, I can always go back and, like, back these pages with some other kind of paper. Um, I don't know if I'm going to need to. I'm going to let this sit for a while and see if the pages see how much the pages flatten out um, because I think that once they're flatter they're going to be easier to work with but we'll see and then there we go Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to let this sit for a while because that is not going to, that's not going to work. Um, but yes, I just wanted to do this video super quick in case um, that was something that you hadn't thought of. Because it's definitely not something that I had thought of. I didn't like even consider it until I saw um, Andre's video. So, yeah, look, I got all of the, let me, let me see, let me see if I can show you guys how many of these things I have. I haven't, I like a decluttered and gave away all of my other, um, <clears throat> like extras stickers, like stickers that I had cut and kept from kits and stuff, but for some reason I could not get myself to get, like, I could not bring myself to get rid of these. And I'm just like, uh, I want, I want to keep them, but then they're like sitting in a stack in this thing and I just don't reach for them very much because they're so disorganized. So I'm hoping that this, like being able to put the icons in categories so I can just like go to the category that I need instead of like looking through a bajillion like sheets to find to see if it first of all has this, the icon that I need and then to see if the icon is going to match and I think that this is going to be a good situation um if you have made it to the end of this video or if you saw the title of the video um you are aware that this is going to also be a de-stash giveaway video. This is going to be my second de-stash giveaway video and, um, well, I guess second de-stash giveaway? I don't know. Uh, I will be giving away three stuffed packages of stickers that I am de-stashing from Mustache. Um, these are all, um, like, I don't know. These are all from like my kit left. These are like kit leftovers and stickers, that, like washi stickers and stuff that I just didn't feel like I would use. Or um, there's some, I 
think there's some oops stickers in here. Uh, there's some sheets, like free printable sheets from other um, companies or whatever, brands, bloggers, um, that I just didn't think that I would use. So I put them in here. So, yes, I have... You guys... I have not gone through all of the stickers and things that I want to go through, but I feel like this this is a start. Like, I've got these stuffed, ready to go, so I'm going to get rid of them instead of just having them sit here. So, uh, I don't know when the giveaway is going to end, but if you're seeing this video on the day that it goes up, it is, you know, you can apply. I'm definitely going to leave all of the um, specifics in the... Um, description box down below uh, so make sure you go ahead and read that that will let you know um, how to enter when the giveaway is over um, and whatever other rules there are and stuff there will be three winners um, two will be international and or no one will be international and two will be domestic uh, so pretty sure it's the same way I did it last time so um, please make sure you let me know in your comment um, what country you live in so that I know which giveaway to enter you into. All, all the other um, details and rules and stuff will be in the description box. So if you want to win one of these packs of D-Stash stickers, please be sure to read that so that you can enter. Um, thank you guys so, so much. Um, for watching this video and for supporting me. I reached over 3,000 subscribers recently and oh my gosh, it's crazy. Like, it's so crazy. I remember when I first um, started my channel, I reached like, I don't know, I reached like 25 subscribers or something like that. I was like, I was, I was like all about it. You guys, I was so excited and th this just seems crazy to me. I know it's all relative. Um, I mean, to me, 3,000 sub subscribers, like 3,000 people that decided that they want to come back and watch another one of my videos is just nuts to me. Um, so, thank you. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed, watched my videos, given me a thumbs up, commented. All of you guys are just so awesome, and I cannot say thank you enough. It's crazy. Um, Again, thank you guys so much. Oh my god, how many times am I going to say thank you? Somebody start a counter. Um, thanks for watching this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.
Okay, so I did change a couple things because, um, as you guys just saw, I added in a clip of me doing some other things to this, and I realized after I had filmed the first portion, when I went to go put the stickers in, that, um, these had flattened, I had them, I had this book sitting, um, squished in between two things for a while, and the pages had flattened out quite a bit. They still curled up a little bit, but, um, nothing that wasn't manageable. But I started putting stickers on, and then I realized that the parchment paper by itself was just way too thin. It was not, like, with this binding system at least, it was not going to stay in there. So, uh, if you're using, like, uh, a binding system where you're using like the cinch or something and it's not like gonna pop out easily then um, the parchment paper just by itself would prob probably be fine but if you're gonna be using this uh, like disc bound system I would not recommend it so I did go through and take out all of the parchment paper and I just cut off the part where it was punched uh, and then I took a just plain piece of like white cardstock cut it down to the same size that these were so seven by nine and a quarter and then I stapled these um, I did not glue them because um, I didn't think that it would stay very well I did try gluing this one this was the first one that I did um, so this does have some glue on it but the glue is sticking kind of well now but I would still because it's parchment paper and it could pop off easily probably I didn't want to take any chances so I just stapled the corners uh, and I put one piece on each side so that it would still be double-sided and I went ahead and put all my stickers in here so I can show you what it looks like now so there's my cute little flamingo cover I was about to call it a pigeon I don't even know why <laughs> um, so uh, I will go ahead and put um, labels on here of what my different sections are. So my first section is my functional section and I have habit trackers up here and then headers and like canceled little label things. Uh, on the other side I have some flags and then I have quarter boxes and like appointment labels and stuff. Any small labels are on here and continues on the back. And then I have half boxes. Now these are all like leftovers from kits and stuff that I just couldn't bear to part with. I have so many <laughs> of these half boxes. So I have like three pages like front and back of half boxes. Well two front and back. And then that and then the other side is empty but I will give myself some space for that. The next section is um, my icons like icons and characters and stuff like that uh, and I have them kind of roughly separated into categories so this first page I have shopping like any kind of shopping grocery shopping like regular anything that could be shopping related and then um, the sheets that I had let me zoom in just a tiny bit the sheets that I had um, from shops where their like logo was cut out I put them on the shopping section too in case like I uh, place an order or something and I want to mark that I can use their little shop names and then the bottom um, is anything like money related so like paydays um, paid anything that would have been like a bill due I would have put here anything with money sign I got some piggy banks here anything like that oops, on this page and I felt like these two together um, on the same page felt appropriate and then I'll just keep building them until they reach the center this page is <laughs> kind of crazy it's the most filled page so the line dividing them is actually right here the top section is all cleaning and chores related um so like anything that's a chore laundry like cleaning bottles trash recycling anything like that dishes everything's up here and then down here is um kind of like electronics i guess you'd say or like anything like for movies or TVs. Um, I've got all my TVs, little cameras, uh, telephones. There's a couple like walkie-talkie things. Um, some um, movie marquees, little movie night, Netflix binge, anything like that is here. And um, I don't have any room for like, I've got a, like barely, like I could fit a couple more words hard. Uh, oh, I have these. I can add these to another page. Um, so my plan with this is this is going to be everything that is from my, like, 
kits that I use they're gonna be like kit leftover things that I want to keep are gonna be in this binder and when I get to a page like this where it's filled and I can like I can't fit anymore or I can only fit a couple more I'll fill it up and then whatever whatever else I have on my leftover sheets that I cannot fit into this binder I will de-stash like this is this is the last stop like if they can't fit in this binder they're going away um especially for the icons and stuff because I don't want to have like multiple pages where it's cleaning stuff like I think this is enough um but thing like functional things I think I can add in like more pages like it would not be difficult for me to just like pop in another page of half boxes or quarter boxes or something but I don't want to have multiple pages like this especially because I've already split them up if that makes any sense anyway uh this section up here is like a travel section so uh, or like travel vacation anything like that so I've got all my airplanes my cars um I, I put the houses in here too because I figured I could use that to mark like coming home or um like I could even use them to mark like hotels or something like that because I don't really know what else I would use the houses for so I just put them in the travel section and I also have like uh there's like a flight tracker here um I put the gas anything like like a gas um pump I put them in here I think I only have like three or four that have gas pumps on them so I put them in here I don't know mark pit stops or something uh and then down here is my workout section so anything fitness related will go down here I have a hydrate tracker a little runny people scale weights anything like that's down there um this is my like um me time pampering like going out having fun section I didn't want to have too many sections because I'd have like a ton of pages with like just a couple stickers on them so I kind of made like broader um categories for this booklet so this has got um all of my nail polish bottles like makeup stuff um anything that says lazy date or relaxes on here me time family time things are on here date night things um like taking a bath things haircuts um anything like that is in this section and then down here is happy mail i think that's pretty self-explanatory and then this section is work so any laptops filming trackers um like social media icons um like desks i've got like a little silhouette here anything like that anything work related uh is in this section and then this one is like appointments uh again another pretty rough category because i've got um anything that's got like an alarm clock or an uh at symbol I don't know what that's actually called <laughs> um little stethoscopes for like doctor's appointments any like teeth for dentist appointments sick things are going to go in here anything that's got medicine on it anything like that that would be like an appointment type thing is in here and then I have this one which is kind of like a celebrate um and birthday section so presents little uh clinking glasses balloons cakes all that good stuff is in this section then this is a food one. Oh, why do i have a celebrate one i have whoa what did i do hmm. i did not pay enough attention a little celebrate munchkin is down there and i've got balloons down here what was i doing oh my goodness that will not do okay so this section let me just fill those gaps this section is food so any fork and knife things fast food things place settings I've got like a little crock pot there that's all food stuff then this one actually has three categories on it because i have very little of all of these apparently um these are all um like miscellaneous uh like icon shapes so hearts asterisks uh exclamation points check marks there's a little like light bulb there there's some blank ones and then this is like plannery related so anything like plannery or like a book or writing or anything like that is in there and then down here is just a bunch of paw prints and i think i have something oh yeah on the back i've got um coffee ones 
and then I actually have a deco sticker down here but I want to put this in a different section because it's technically not like an icon anyway I found this little sheet this little caress press sheet it was just hiding and it's got a few little hearts and asterisks on it so I would put it in this section right here and I'm super excited about this book like I think this is going to be really good for me it's going to uh, help out my brain a little that like hates wasting things like I, that's why I had such a I don't know such a problem like throwing away things that can be used because I don't know, just oh, I hate being wasteful anyway so I'm, uh, I'm like really excited this makes me so happy like seeing all these icons on one page Ooh, speaking of that I'm not gonna put it in a haul because I've already like put most of the stuff away but I want to show you something that I got let me see if I can find a bunch of them that I got at the Dollar Tree you guys like if you guys have a Dollar Tree near you I suggest you run because uh, they got planner stickers galore. These gigantic sheets, and there's two there's two sheets in here. There's the functional part that's on the front. So, and I'm thinking I might take some of this apart and put it in this book because I don't know, like I feel like I wouldn't reach for it otherwise. But then the back is like all deco stickers, and you guys, <gasps> these unicorns and the pineapple. I'm like, oh, dying yes so there's that one they have four different color schemes and like themes and there's this one so that was like a pastel one this is like a bright brights one and they've got pretty i think the fronts have very similar layouts not they're not identical though so there's that and then the back oh i love it Try not to get the glare too much, but you guys, like, this is nuts, so, and I got multiples, because I'm crazy. I feel like whenever I go to the Dollar Tree, there's always, like, new things, especially in the sections where they have the stickers, it's always different whenever I go, so when I see something, and I'm like, and I like it, and I, I don't even have to love it, I feel like if I like it, and it's so cheap, too, that I don't feel guilty if I don't end up using it. Um, I can just give it to someone else who will, but, um, I just feel like I have to get it when I buy it. You guys, does anybody watch, um, oh, what is it, what is it, what is it, the show, oh my gosh, I can't think of it, was it antique, I don't know. I don't know those guys that go out and buy old junk from people and sell it anyway um the guy on there frank he always says the time to buy is when you see it and i feel that way whenever i go to the dollar tree and i see stickers anyway <laughs> and then this one is like a watercolor galaxy theme and these icons you guys i'm dying yes and then the back uh there's rockets yes and then this one which is kind of like another pastel-y kind but it's a little bit different and then the back of this one is really cute too I got pizzas i just had to show you guys that because i was doing this and I was like really excited about it. So I think I might take some of those and put them in here. We'll see. But that is that. And I'm going to be putting more pages in here. Actually, I really like that I like put the cardstock in there because I'm not like afraid that it's gonna fall out now or that things are gonna fall off because it's nice and sturdy. Um but like you can see that they're like they're really good on there. Like I'm bending this really well and it's like they're they're sticking on there but they're actually pretty pretty easy to peel up let me just see I think I might need some like skinnier oh, see and the sound that it makes when it comes up I think I might need some like skinnier 
tweezers though I don't know I just got these like cheap tweezers at the Dollar Tree just like specifically for using for stickers but we'll see we'll see how those go anyway I just wanted to go ahead and put this in at the end of the video because I just felt like it wouldn't be complete without it so um that is it anyway thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video I probably said this at the end of, like at the original end of the video oh well um go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already um leave me comments down below on what you think of this um this like system of like saving your your leftover stickers if, if you guys think that this is something that would work for you because this definitely feels like something that will work for me uh anyway uh have a great day and i will see you guys later bye